Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be reviewing Son of Dracula from 1943. At this point in time, Universal was doing sequels and semi-reboots. This is sort of like a sequel, there's really no like continuity with the first two like Dracula films. Son of Dracula was directed by Robert Zodnick. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right. It was produced by Ford BB. It was written by Kurt Zodnick. And the screenplay was done by Eric Taylor. The film's released on November 5th, 1943. The film stars Lon Chaney Jr., Louise Albritton, Robert Page, Evelyn Ankers, and Frank Craven. And no, no relation to Wes Craven. The first time I saw Son of Dracula was on this Universal Monsters Dracula collection. And since then, I have the uh, movie on this Blu-ray set of uh, Universal Monsters Dracula set. Son of Dracula is about Alucard, aka Dracula spelled backwards. He marries a southern woman named Catherine who is obsessed with eternal life. Her boyfriend Frank accidentally kills her. He's arrested, then he escapes and sets a revenge plot against Alucard, so that way Catherine's soul can rest in peace. Son of Dracula is one of the weakest films of the Universal Monster series. It's not one of the worst ones, but it's definitely like one of Universal's downfall movies at this time period. It's a movie that I've like watched the least compared to the last two Dracula films. Some good film noir films I can name off the top of my head are like The Maltese Falcon, The Big Sleep, Double Indemnity, Notorious, and Gilda. All good examples of good film noir films. Lon Chaney's performance as Dracula, he's weak and he's terrible and he sucks. He's definitely not one of my favorite actors to have played Dracula. He's definitely one of the weakest actors to have played Dracula. Because around this time, he was very big and hot with, like, the Wolfman. And that's probably one of the reasons, like, why they picked him to play Dracula. I always joke with my friends and family how, like, if you watch... The Wolfman, Ghost of Frankenstein, Son of Dracula, and the Mummy movies back to back. I call that the uh, Lon Chaney Quad Trilogy because literally you have Lon Chaney playing the monsters in all the movies, and half of the actors from The Wolfman playing different characters in each movie. Watch his performance as Dracula in this film makes me wish that Bela Lugosi was playing Dracula in this film. But I think at this point in time, I don't think the studio did not want Bela Lugosi as Dracula at this point. It's very debatable on whether or not Alucard is related to Dracula, if he is his son or not. For me, it's really hard to say because they don't really explain it in the movie on whether or not he's Dracula's son or not. Even though I said that this is not one of my favorite films, I consider it one of the weakest films of the monster movies. The film does have its, like, positive highlights. Like, for example, the character Frank, played by Robert Page, is very likable and very sympathetic. It's very sad and try to see what he goes through after when he accidentally kills his girlfriend, Catherine. And we really want him to kill Alucard after like what he did to her and what he did to him, how he ruined his life. The ending to this movie was surprisingly pretty decent and good. How we see how Frank gets his revenge and kills Alucard. And after when he kills Alucard, it's sad and tragic how he had no choice but to kill Catherine so that way her soul can rest in peace. It's an example of a cliche how, like, in other horror films, how, like, where the character had no choice but to kill, like, his or her best friend or loved ones, even though he didn't want to, but he had no choice. Otherwise, he or she will go on a killing spree. Also, another positive note is where we see the first ever transformation of Dracula becoming a bat. That's one that we never got to see in the first Dracula film. The character of Professor Lazo was an okay character, but... The way I would describe it, he was basically like the poor man's version and a replacer of Professor Van Helsing. But he was the only one that really believed in Frank's uh, story. <sighs> With this movie being a film noir type style in the same format, you have your basic female fatale, German expression gothic atmosphere, the detective, and the hero of the movie. 
So that was my review of Son of Dracula. Hope you liked and enjoyed it. It's not the worst movie. It's just not like one of my favorites. And it's just like a film I've never really have gone back to like rewatch over and over again, like religiously. It's still worth checking out if you're interested to see and curious to see how Juan Chaney is as Dracula. If not, skip it. But I definitely recommend it for like hardcore Universal Monster fans. Stay tuned for my next videos. See you next time.